When you look for yourself online, what do you look like? How are you going to get found by people who are searching for your services? That's right. And what if you don't like what you find when you search for yourself? What do you do? Hi, I'm Charlie Seymour, Jr. And I'm Dr. Mark Koss. And thanks for coming to this question and answer video. But make sure you stay tuned to the end because we have a very special offer for you that you want to check out. We certainly do. So go ahead and watch. We'll see you in the end. Any personal content that shows up about you, does it show your personality? Does your personality come through? Uh, is there anything showing that is emotional in a sense, that has that way of catching you and shows you having fun? These are a whole bunch of things here all wrapped up into one question. That's really it. And it's talking about you as a person. Now, if I got up and I walked into the camera like this and I said hello to you, you'd think something a little different <laughs> from somebody just sitting back or... T so show some personality. So many people are afraid to do that, you they, know? They are. You, it, know. you know, the accountant, the attorney, the doctor, the candlestick maker, as I like to say, show personality. People want to like people and go to people and work with people that they like. You know, it reminds me of, a, you, you had loaned a CD to me uh, uh, where somebody was, there, there was a consultant working with a medical practice. And one of the things she talked about is of all the things that they had done and put out there, there was a, a, uh, a newsletter piece that showed the doctor wearing a grass skirt and, you know, a bikini top. Coconut bikini yeah, top. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, all right, is that unprofessional? <coughs> but Male here, doctor. Of course. Yeah, exactly. Yes. A good, important point. Yes. Um, but the thing is that that was the piece that they put out that got the biggest response from their current patient. You know, it showed that this person was fun had a sense of humor. It brought back a lot of former patients. It really woke up their attention. I mean, there's certainly something to be said for being at least a little bit outrageous in a way that's not gonna, of course, be offensive or anything like that. So showing you some personality, showing you having a good time, uh, it's certainly something that people need to not be afraid of. And it goes back to what I was saying in, a, in answer to another question about psychologists and other professionals who are a little squeamish about yes. you know, revealing too much of their personality. You know, we, especially in my profession, we have this notion of you know, wanting to be sort of this blank slate kind of thing. Well, people are people and people have relationships and this is a relationship business and odds are so is yours. Every business is. People need something to relate to. So be a person. Be human. Show and, your dog. And, you know. and show your dog. Show your cat. We know how cats are loved on the, on the internet. Unreal. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you want a million hits on a video, yeah. all you got to do is put a cat in there. Well, and when we talk to mid-career professionals who would understand the television show and remember the television show MASH, look at the individual personalities of each one of those doctors in there. Right. So if you can think about, if you're, if you're going to meld into this black backdrop and just be nothing that anybody's going to see. Or a white coat and a stethoscope. I'm right, exactly. Not. That doesn't show who you are. Why do I want to go to you? Not just the degrees you have on the wall. And personality's a big part of that. Absolutely. And you see very different personalities here, and we do that on purpose, of course. We can't really help it. We however. can't help it. I can't <laughs> help. I'm, yeah, back to you. Wow, you were pretty good in that, Dr. Mark. You weren't too shabby yourself. Well, thanks very much. And that was one of 25 questions and answers that we have for you. That's right. We spent a whole lot of time. We really want you to get found online. So we went through 25 of these. This was just a sample, and we want to give it all to you. Well, where can they come and get all that information? Well, getfound101.com is the place to go. Sounds like a smart idea. So join us over there, getfound101.com, and get all 25 of these, getfound101.com. Thank you.